All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing this news all around the place. Layoff, layoff, layoff. So many layoffs. And all the big companies, Google, Facebook, Amazon, except Apple, quite a number of layoffs, especially in these three, four, top five companies, you know, maybe it's around 51,000 people have been laid off in the recent months or recent weeks rather. Not a very nice time for employees all over the world. And uh, therefore, many people have been asking me that, oh, sir, will the same thing happen to me? Will I also be laid off from any company? The situation is not good anywhere. It's not just US, but it's not good anywhere else either. So how can we see from the horoscope if uh, there is an indication that we might be uh, also laid off, right? Or how do we know that there is some probability or there is a higher probability? So all about probabilities and chances. But before I begin this video, if you feel that there that you are if if you are if you are already laid off, then uh, first of all, don't worry. You will find another job. Just. Uh, Keep applying, sending those applications. I know it's daunting, but please do it. And along with that, you can also do the six weeks money remedy that I have shared uh, in my channel. You can go to my homepage or you can type exotic astrology six weeks money remedy. You will find it. It has over 100,000 views. Uh, so many people have said that during, during the course of the remedy, they have found a job or they found a better job if they were already having a job or if they were in a good job, they uh, started doing some side hustle and getting money through some alternate source of income or they increased their uh, stock market profits or their cryptocurrency profits or they found a good real estate deal or they expanded uh, their business uh, from one center to the other. So either ways, wherever, whichever position we are in our financial journey, that remedy will help you. So if you have not watched it, then please watch it and please do it. Now, uh, this remedy can also be done by people who think that they may be laid off, right? So if you have the fear, if you are seeing signals somewhere and if that's your gut feeling, then uh, please go and do it. And of course, if you are confident that you will not be laid off and uh, you're sure your gut feeling says and you see good indications, your company is making profits, uh, so and so, uh, even then maybe you can do it if you wish. It's uh, primarily your choice, but you can do it. Who knows? You might find a better job in this recession, right? So, Therefore, uh, if you are already laid off, uh, unfortunately, then uh, let's see uh, after doing this remedy, maybe. And, and sometimes people find new jobs uh, during this remedy itself. So when three or four weeks are complete, even then, then, uh, then, then and there itself, they find a new job. So who knows? Maybe you might find something else, right? <laughs> but now... Now, from your horoscope, how do you identify if there is a probability of getting laid off during these periods? So, now see, uh, here comes the concept of time, place, circumstances, Desh Kalapatra. So, for example, if imagine there is normal, the world is normal. So, go back to 2017, 18, 19 and pre-corona 2020, somewhere, you know, January, February. So that time the world was quite normal. So then uh, during these times, if you had a bad dasha, uh, which means a dasha which is not very good for your profession, then maybe you would not get a promotion or in worst case, you might be laid off because the world was doing relatively decent. But suppose you are in the 2008 financial crisis and you had a bad period, then might be that you would have been laid off if you were an employee at a company with a bad dasha. And something similar can happen uh, during this time because things are not that great. 
although these big companies they are having a lot of profits but they are laying off employees okay so therefore i'm not trying to create fear here by saying if you have a bad dasha you'll be laid off but we can do two things we can uh, take the necessary precautions we can do the six weeks money remedy and uh, we can upgrade ourselves we can upgrade our skill sets um, and provide to be a valuable asset to the company or a more valuable asset rather and uh, give 100 percent. and even after that by dint of our destiny our past life karma if we are laid off then maybe we will find another job someday somewhere right if not in the same country maybe in another country but nonetheless now we have to understand what are some of the indications so first of all you have to check your horoscope so uh, in the horoscope uh, you have to check your lagna lord so the lagna lord tells you how much determination do you have to fight through things if the lagna lord is strong then it means uh, you have very good determination to get over difficulties struggles trials tribulations irrespective of how bad things are and uh, if the lagna lord is weak which means either it's uh, in an enemy sign or it's afflicted or it's in debility Mm, then you you may get into depression if something happens, right? Because you may lack the necessary hard work that it takes to come out of it. But nonetheless, the Lagna Lord is very important. And then we see uh, the Karaka, which is the sun. Uh, the sun is the Karaka for the 10th house. Then we see Mercury, which is the primary Karaka. Then we see Saturn also, because Saturn shows our discipline. Sun shows our purpose and uh, Mercury shows our intelligence, our talent, our skill, our knowledge, our ability to get through things. So we need to check these four planets, the Lagna Lord, Sun, Mercury and Saturn. And then we need to check the 10th Lord, the planets in the 10th house. So if you feel uh, like even yesterday I spoke about this, the same thing. <clears throat> in the millionaire will you become a millionaire that video but now here comes the interesting part which is your mahadasha and the antardasha generally i have seen if the mahadasha is uh, not supportive and the antardasha is also not supportive or let's take a simple case first the mahadasha is supportive but the antardasha is not supportive then it can happen during these times. If your Mahadasha Lord is lording the Dustana houses, the 6th, 8th or 12th, or your Mahadasha Lord in the Bhava chart is placed in the 6th, 8th or 12th house, then there is a possibility that there could be difficulties. But if the, Mahad if the Mahadasha Lord is well placed and just the Antardasha Lord is badly placed, then even if you are laid off, uh, worst case, you might find another job of the same caliber, maybe. Now, depending on the chart, of course, you know, there are a lot of variables, but just to uh, give you a starting point. But now suppose uh, the Mahadasha Lord is well-placed and the Antadasha Lord is also well-placed. You, uh, you may be there doing, you may be doing good in your job, but if the pratyantars are not good, uh, maybe you might not get a promotion or something like that. You know, your growth will be stunted, but you will remain in the job. Now, if your Mahadasha Lord is not very good, but the Antardasha Lord is well placed, then what happens is you are doing good in the job, but there is, uh, and there are no problems, but uh, your level is not changing you know you, you you are you're changing companies but you are getting the same salary range you know and overall you may feel oh i'm good but still not happy in life now the last scenario which is you know if uh, your mahadasha and antardasha both are uh, not good then you might uh, end up losing your job and it might be difficult for you to find another job of the same caliber. So you might have to downgrade yourself. Now, I am not saying to downgrade yourself, but maybe suppose 
you are running Sun Mahadasha. So you are running Sun Sun Saturn, maybe. So half of the Mahadasha is still remaining. So maybe it can happen that if Sun and Saturn both are very badly placed in the horoscope. And you might be laid off and during Sun Mercury, if Mercury is well placed, you might get a job, but it will not be as per your caliber. It will not be as per your education, your, you, you will have a gut feeling inside, you know, that no ideas are better than this. But let's see if your Moon Mahadasha is good, if Moon is well placed. They are indicating, uh, if, if the planets are indicating the 2nd, 6th, 10th or 11th, then uh, things can change. Now, you may be thinking, I said Dustana houses, but why did I say 6th house can be good? So, see, uh, the, the Artha houses are 2nd, 6th, 10th and 11th and the, they are more powerful in the ascending order. So, which means the 11th house is most powerful. The 10th house is less powerful than the 11th. Of course, 11th house is a karma house, but it is the house of fulfillment of desire. So we can consider it for money, wealth, and gains. And 6th house is lesser power, is less powerful than the 10th, and 2nd is the least powerful. So, but now the 6th house, 8th house, and 12th house, these are the sana houses. So whenever you have a plant in the 6th house, you have to see with a lot of detail what's going on. So if you have a plant in the 6th, but the nakshatra lord of the plant is in the 10th house, then this can show you are getting a promotion or you are winning through competition. Or if the nakshatra lord is in the 11th, then it can show good gains through competition. But now imagine a plant is in the 6th, but the nakshatra lord of that planet is in the 8th or the 12th, then that's like a disaster. Then the 6th house is no more a artha house, it becomes a dustan house. And therefore, you, you got to study the planetary placements, the lordships of the Antardasha planets and the Nakshatra lord. So if you are unable to grasp what I am saying, then I have a lot of videos on Nakshatras and Nakshatra lords and career and money, wealth and all this. So please uh, go and see those videos. I I am very sure you will be able to grasp it better. Okay. So that will be all from my side. If you uh, are laid off already, then don't worry. Uh, do the six weeks money remedy. And if you feel there's a danger, still do the remedy and upgrade yourself. And if you're going good, then keep doing good. Keep improving yourself. All right. And look at your chart for the upcoming six months to one year, because you never know when other chart changes and something some crap comes into your life, right? <laughs> and if you feel that, oh yeah, after six months, I am going to have a difficult dasha, then prepare for it by now. Uh, have some savings. You know, Worst case, if you are laid off, you can sustain for six months, okay? That will be all from my side, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. And if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And my website for consultations is also down below. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will protect you even if you're laid off or not. Thank you.